What's up internet, Jonathan here with TLD, back with another Geekbench and speed test. This time we're taking a look at the Core i5 uh, 13-inch baseline MacBook Pro. So prior, I got a score of 6456. Let's go ahead and run it one more time so you guys can uh, see it in real time, make sure I'm not lying. This is everything stock in the MacBook Pro, 4 gigs of RAM, 320 gig hard drive. Uh, all the 13-inch models feature the Intel HD 3000 graphics, and that's it. This is a 64-bit version of Geekbench, in case you guys are wondering. We're nearing the halfway point. We should be done any second. So here we go. 6471, actually higher than I got previously. So there you guys have it. Let's go ahead and jump over to ScreenFlow for an HD export. So this is a dual core, Core i5, 2.3 gigahertz processor. One thing you guys got to notice compared to the previous generation Core 2 Duos, uh, this feature is hyperthreading. So what that does is your OS sees it as four cores. It's not four physical cores, but there's four threads, uh, and you get four threads to process it. So it's a huge difference compared to the Core 2 Duos. Uh, we're nearing probably about the halfway point. We're about 27 seconds so far. Uh, and if you guys are wondering whether you pick up the 13-inch baseline or do you jump up to the i7, to be honest, uh, I was looking at a couple Geekbench scores, and there's not that big of a difference. I'll kind of do a more in-depth video on pretty soon. Uh, but just for right now, save the money, go with the baseline. Uh, i5 MacBook Pro for the 13-inch. Upgrade the SSD and the RAM, and you guys will be set. That thing will absolutely scream. So we're near on the 75% point. You can hear the fans starting to kick in. The turbo boost is kind of really boosting up the processor right now. Uh, it's going to be a little bit loud. One thing I've noticed with these MacBook Pros is if you're not pushing it, it runs really cool. So if you're just browsing with it on your lap, uh, it's not going to get too hot. Moving on a minute and 10 seconds almost. So we should finish right about there. And we are done. Minute 14. Not too shabby. i got to do I gotta double check what the uh, quad core did, but this is great for you guys picking up the 13 inch who want to edit some video. Uh, again, I use ScreenFlow because it does utilize the multi cores very well. Thanks for watching. I got a ton load of uh, MacBook Pro videos yesterday. Go ahead and check out all those right here. I made a playlist for you guys. Other than that, if you guys are just watching this video for the first time, feel free to subscribe. Got a whole lot of cool stuff on the way, and I'll catch you guys later.